Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many Python developers encounter while building Telegram bots. Our viewer is working with the PyTelegram bot API framework and needs help saving user input after a specific bot message. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To save user input after a specific message in your Telegram bot, we need to modify the callback function to handle the user's response. Let's start by editing the callback function. Next, we will add a message handler to capture the user's response. This handler will listen for any text message sent by the user after the bot prompts them. Now, we need to ensure that the bot only processes the user's input after the prompt. We can achieve this by using a state variable to track whether the bot is waiting for a response. Finally, we will check the state in our message handler to determine if we should save the user's input. If the bot is waiting for input, we save the response and reset the state. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To save user input in a Telegram bot after a specific message, you can use the Telebot library. First, set up your bot with a token. Then, create a command handler for the start command, prompting the user to describe their problem. Next, register a next step handler to capture the user's response. This response will be saved to a text file along with the user's chat ID. Finally, send a thank you message to the user and notify the admin with the user's input. Don't forget to start polling to keep the bot running. For a complete example, check out the provided GitHub link. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To save user input in a Telegram bot, you need to manage user sessions. When a user sends a message, create a session using their user ID. When the user sends another message, check if they have an active session. If they do, continue the conversation based on their previous input. The user suggests using a dictionary to store sessions, but notes that this can complicate things. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To save user input after a specific message in a Telegram bot, you can use the force reply feature. This allows Telegram clients to show a reply interface, making it easier for users to respond without compromising privacy.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. This user shares a solution for saving user input in a Telegram bot after a specific message. They mention it took three years to find this fix. The code includes a function that prompts the user to send text, which is then added to a photo using the Pillow library. Finally, the modified photo is saved and sent back to the user. The user expresses hope that this helps others. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To save user input after a specific message in your Telegram bot, you can store the data in either a cache or a database. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.